America, Tom Hand here of the Americana Corner. Today we're discussing the growing legend of Benedict Arnold. In July 1777, General George Washington sent his most trusted field commander, Benedict Arnold, to New York to help stop the invading British Army. After rescuing Fort Stanwix, a key American outpost, Arnold hurried back to Albany to deal with General John Burgoyne and his British Army. On September 19th, Arnold's battlefield decisions helped repulse a British assault at Freeman's Farm. Four weeks later, Arnold reached the peak of his short but illustrious career. On October 7th, he charged and captured a strongly defended enemy redoubt at the Battle of Bemis Heights, ensuring an American victory and Burgoyne's surrender. During this engagement, Arnold was severely wounded in his left leg, the same one injured at Quebec. The bone was shattered and, although doctors recommended amputation, Arnold refused the procedure. In the spring of 1778, Arnold was still unable to ride a horse and it was clear Arnold would not participate in the upcoming campaign. To reward Arnold, Washington appointed him military commander of the Philadelphia region, a prestigious post which did not require any field duty. Unfortunately, the position did require great tact and patience, two traits in which Arnold was lacking. Worse yet, being one of the most powerful men in Philadelphia was a situation ripe for abuse. Perhaps three years before, when the American cause was foremost on his mind, Arnold could have withstood these temptations. But embittered at perceived slights by Congress and wounded mentally and physically, it would prove to be too much for the man. Next week, we will discuss the fall of Benedict Arnold. Until next time, may your love of country lead you.